Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. It's Mike with We Are the Saints. Uh, so it's been a, a few weeks now, and the Lord has put it heavy on my heart that He really wants me to talk about um, how you're building your house. Are you building your house on the rock or on the sand? <clears throat> Where is your foundation? And so the Lord has shown me and put it heavy in my spirit that we need to remember or get back to the basics sometimes in our, in our walk. Um, it's easy to get discouraged. It's easy to sort of sit back. And it's easy to uh, forget the urgency sometimes of what, what needs to be done for the body of Christ. So... Yeah, so building your house on the rock, on a firm foundation, a foundation that won't be shaken when the storms come, when the winds get high, um, and you won't be washed away. So right now with what's going on in the world, there's a few things that are going on in the world. And it's easy to get distracted. It's easy to... Um, put your occupation on something else other than what the Lord is, is wanting you to do. Um, so I've, I've had to sometimes just come right back to the basics, start over and say to myself, okay, where am I beginning? Sometimes I feel confused. Um, what am I doing? Uh, where do I go now? Um, but the basics will, will make your path straight. Okay. The basics will bring you back to where the Lord wants to take you so you can hear him, so you can listen to what he's saying. So, you know, the Lord says in Matthew 5, or sorry, not Matthew 5. Um, the Lord said, I'll, I'll put it in the description. The Lord says that he who hears my voice and does them is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. And when the storms came and the winds blew, he was firm in his stance. <clears throat> and, you know, on the other side of it, he who hears my word and does do them is like a man who builds his house on the sand and when the storms come, the waves get high and the winds blow. <clears throat> He'll be washed away. I'm paraphrasing, of course, but you know, this is very significant. The foundation of a home is, you know, what you have to build on from there. And sometimes... You kind of have to go back, you know, in, in in a lot of ways, you know, I see this a lot in, in actual homes. <clears throat> you know, a lot of times homes that are 150, 200 years old, they have a rock foundation. Um, and the rock foundation was built on rock. And they used a material to, to sort of keep it together so it didn't. Um, fall apart but after you know 70 80 90 years even that rock will begin to kind of deteriorate and so it needs to be refreshed or it needs to be um, fixed for lack of better words and so you know in this day and age what we'll do is we'll go in and we'll we'll use a, a compound of a cement or whatever and 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 either build a portion of it or add on to it. Um, but this, it, it really reminds me of our life, our walk, you know, we can start out with a great foundation where we've come back to the, started from the beginning. We've heard the Lord speaking to us and we go a particular direction. And then as life comes to us, you know, it gets difficult. Sometimes the foundation will crack a bit. Um, perhaps it'll move a little bit. But the Lord says that if you build your house through me, you will be safe and secure and your house will not move. And, you know, the Lord says that, you know, we are his temple. You know, he lives in us and we, we abide in him as well. So we are the home. We are the Lord's home while with him, when he's with us. So... It's, it's, it's key to understand that 
our own spirit or our own walk needs to be rooted in strength of the Lord or we're going to be blown around quite a bit. And, you know, you know, the parable of the sower, too, also is very similar. It's at the same context, you know, um, when the seed is sown in good soil and the roots go deep. Those roots will solidify that plant and as it grows, it'll hold it tight and it won't allow it to be blown over. And uh, and when the winds come and, and, the, and the storms rise up, that plant will still be rooted solid in, in that good ground. So where do we start? Okay, well, one of the great places for me that I start is in the Beatitudes. Okay, Matthew 5. Um, sometimes I just go back and I just I just read it just to kind of give myself a sense of what the Lord was talking about early in his ministry. You know, start in these in this place. Begin here. Um but that's it's it, it'll help you deepen your roots in, in the soil. Okay, and um getting back to the basics, praying every day, once or twice a day at least. Um, reading the word once or twice a day, every day, even if it's just a chapter or a few verses, what have you, whatever you're doing, the Lord will help strengthen you with this. Okay. Um, you know, sometimes I'll go back and I'll read Galatians five. Just want to hear again, what the fruit of the spirit is, you know, love, joy, patience, forgiveness, gentleness, get back to that. Um, Get up that morning and when you're praying your morning prayer or you're reading, say, Lord, I need to get back to the basics. I need to make sure that my foundation, if there is a crack, that you can re repair it with me, through me. And I know you can. I just need to acknowledge it. I need to lay it at your feet and say, Lord, I'm having issues. Something is not right. I can feel it. Um, what is it? And allow me to repair that crack in the foundation and move on. And I'm sure the Lord will say something very similar to get back to the basics. Okay. It's a struggle for me every day. Every day I get up and I pray. And I say, you know, I, I, I ask sincerely, Lord, that you will give me the ability to um, speak to someone about you or present your message or be an example for you or to just... Um, kind word or what have you but it starts it starts there um, I've found that there have been times in my life where it feels like I'm on pause I don't know why I don't really quite understand it but you know it all it all it's all for a reason the Lord has a purpose he's got you firmly in his hands and he's not letting you go um, the pause might be necessary there might be a reason for that. Um, but if you feel like maybe there's something missing or you want to make sure that you are moving in the right direction towards the Lord, I always get back to the basics. Go back and take a look at your foundation. See what's going on. Um, it helps me immensely. You know, like every day is a struggle. Right now there's a lot of distractions in this world. A lot of distractions, but um, I want you to know that the Lord is, he uses you in many different ways. Some seasons are for prayer. Some is for edifying the body. Some is for um, studying his word. And some is being out on the front lines every day, talking with people, meeting the homeless, talking with a coworker who's going through a difficult time, what have you. But all these things that happen to you are for a reason, trials and tribulations. But if you're built on the foundation of Christ and you recognize that this is where you need to build from, then you'll be in good shape. You know, your walls will go up well. Uh, they'll be secure when the winds blow. And you know, you're an example of this. When people see this, a lot of times actions speak louder than words. So when they see you going through these things or doing these particular things, 
people will look at that and say, you know, this person says this, but he doesn't just say it, he actually does it, or she actually does it. And so I really do encourage you to look for ways in your walk to, to remember that you're, you're, you're coming off of a foundation. What is the end goal of what you're trying to do when you're speaking with someone? Again, sometimes um, when you're ministering to somebody, it happens a lot. They won't agree with you. Or they say things like, oh, you're one of those people. It's easy to get offended. Trust me, I know. It's very easy to get offended. And then sometimes I have to pull back and just say, you know, you know, the Lord loves you. You know, you may not agree with what I'm saying, but I'm telling you the Lord sees you. The Lord knows you. He knows you better than you know yourself. And he loves you. And sometimes that's it. It's all I, all I, I have. And off I go. I walk away or what have you. Um, but I believe that that is still coming from a foundation of the Lord where he's got you firmly planted. Um, and again, uh, you know, the Beatitudes are a good place to go back to just to kind of rejuvenate yourself. Um, go back to the fruits of the Spirit. And, you know, it's all wrapped up in a big ball that basically boils down to the two things that the Lord said that were very, very important, which was if you hear my words and you do them, then you're building your 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 life and your walk on a, on the rock on the on the firm foundation that's secure. The Lord said, you know, love your God with all of your heart, soul, and mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. That's also a, a fantastic foundation. But you have to understand what He's saying. Love the Lord or your God with all of your heart, soul, and mind. That's everything you have. Do not give anything up to anything else. That's idolatry. Don't love something else. If you love watching TV, pull back. I'm telling you, if you love watching television, then you love TV more than the Lord. And I'm, I'm not judging anybody. Uh, I just know this from personal experience. I loved watching TV. I loved it. Um, but the Lord showed me that if you love something else more than me, you need to be very careful. You need to watch your foundation. It's going to spring a leak. And the enemy loves to, 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 to run right in there when he sees a crack in the armor. When he sees a crack in your foundation, he loves to go in. And then just put a little wedge in there and make it a little bit wider, a little bit wider. And a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit there. And I'm very much guilty of this. And so when I say I go back, I go back to the foundation and see what's going on. Are there cracks in my foundation? Do I look into the Beatitudes every day? Um, so, you know, all these different things that you may love. I mean, you know, you love your family and you love your, um, you may love doing what you do for a living, what have you. But if as long as it's not the most important thing in your life, as long as God is the most important thing. And the other, the other part of that was, Loving your neighbor as yourself. It's its a very easy one to just sort of shrug off and say, oh yeah, I understand, I get it, I love my neighbor. I guarantee you most of us don't actually love our neighbor. Um, we can love our neighbor as ourself if we put in the effort. It's, it's very difficult. A kind word, a hello, um, taking something to them when you know they need something. Um... You know, your neighbor could be on Facebook. It's not that's not actually your neighbor neighbor. They may not live right next to you. They may live halfway across the country, but they're friends of yours on Facebook or wherever. Sending out a kind word. Um, reminding them that you are a person of the Lord. Subtly. You know, I've had people who have reached out to me because they know I believe in God. And they know that I live a certain type of life. And sometimes they reach out. Sometimes they reach out just to challenge me. Sometimes they reach out because they really want to know. Something's bothering them. So anyway, this goes back to where I said, if you're finding yourself struggling or you're get, you're, you find yourself a little bit impatient, not really sure what the Lord is directing you, 
it, it may be something that you have to go through. And yes, perhaps you're not doing as much as you thought you were doing in the past. But maybe this is the season where you step back, take a look at your foundation, and go from there. And ask the Lord, bring it, to, bring it to Him. Lay it at His feet and say, Lord, today is a day I want to take one step further in You so that someone comes into my life who I can tell them about Yourself and about Your salvation and about how much You love someone and how much You want them to know You. Know you. So I hope this... I hope this... Uh, Help somebody out there. Um, you know, getting back to the basics and uh, making sure that you set yourself and build yourself off the rock is very important. You know, Peter was the was the rock by which the Lord said he was going to build his church, and Peter denied him three times. <laughs> We're not perfect, that's for sure, but. If you get go in with the purpose and you say to the Lord, I don't know what I'm doing sometimes. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm giving you the will to want to do it. If you put it in front of me, I'm going to do it no matter how hard it is. The Lord will definitely use that. Definitely use that. Puts a big smile on his face. So uh, God bless you. Um, thanks for watching. And if you have any uh, comments you want to leave, by all means, leave them. If you want to email me, I'll leave uh, some my email address in the description, and uh, maybe some passages from the from the Bible as well. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Shalom.